Hello friends and greetings again from Luxor in Egypt and this video will be a little bit unusual about traditional Nile sailboats. One of my friends once wanted to buy one and he took me with him to view a few uh, so that I could help him evaluate what's good what's not. So I thought I might take you with me and show you around. This is the rudder of the boat and this is how the deck looks where the tourists are usually coming this is one of the sails this particular boat has two sails some are some has one and one mast latin sails they're all latin rigged sailboats which cruise nile mostly from aswan to luxor Ah, it's inside there. Uh -huh. Yeah. On the four peak. We use it the while we cannot reach any electricity. Uh huh. This is uh, the generator. Ah, that's the one. Yeah. yeah. The uh, guest would like to come in one time. Uh huh. Yes. Here is the entrance. Here is two cabins. Each cabin has a bathroom. Each cabin has a bathroom which is quite big too, you know. Nafat! Also needs more work. I can get some work of those. And here is the suite. This is very nice. Yeah. But what I will do, I will make this all glass. Yes, uh -huh. and all by glass. Yes. Uh -huh. This one? This one. No one does it here. Really? This is for uh -huh. the lights. I have seen it in, yeah. on many sea boats. But yeah. not in the... Not, not here. Not here. Okay. So this is... So it's very the, good. Yeah. Even more, yeah. Yeah. And the builder, his was a builder. So this was one of the boats. I didn't bore you with the technical sights, but I thought you might be interested to see how they look from the tourist eye point of view. Where the crew uh, sleeps usually when, when you are... The crew, some sleep here, uh -huh. some sleeps on the island while they're barking. Shukran Jazeelan. <laughs> Have a good day. And here we have arrived on the site of two other boats, which we will be viewing. So here you see them. We're getting aboard on the gangway. And you see the boats themselves. This is the first one. And that's the second one. There is one more, but that wasn't for sale. And the small dinghy for kids to enjoy at the moment. So this is deck view of one of them and the staircase down, the tiller with the big huge Nile type rudder. I was quite uh -huh. amazed to see how big are these rudders. Try to sail such a thing in the ocean, it won't last long, but in the Nile it's exactly what you need. So we go down uh, below to see, yeah this is the sunshade. That's a very important thing, the most important thing. There is no rain, but sun is just relentless. And uh, it's a bit dark here in this one, but the guys are showing us around. There are the bedrooms for tourists. Each bedroom usually has also an suit bathroom uh, with a toilet. and a bit narrow corridor because they want to maximize obviously every square centimeter of the space. That's the kitchen where the staff is preparing food. Usually when they take tourists they make it quite luxury. There is all kinds of luxurious stuff for tourists including gourmet meals and so on. So sometimes amount of staff is about <coughs> the same as the amount of tourists on board even couple sailors and captain and three sometimes four uh, people who are catering and cleaning and cooking 
serving and so on. And yeah, you see the bowsprits are there as well for them, even though it's a Latin rigged boat. And there are also, you can see the tugboats. They're separate things, but they're often used because these sailboats, uh, as well as the big Dahabias, they never have engines, just the generators for electricity. So they use tugboats when, when the wind is not cooperating and the time is pressing. So this is the second, uh, well, second boat of these two, uh, which is open plan boat, more like a camping style boat, not a luxurious place with separate cabins. That's the bowsprit and small anchor. I was amazed how small anchors they have there in Nile. But the weather is so benign that they can actually afford such a huge boat with such a weak, uh, weak uh, anchor, not even the best design. But yeah, obviously it's enough for them because there are no strong winds, no big waves, no, not a big problem to deal with. Yeah. So you can see a tugboat as well here, parked nearby. And I was just trying to show different angles of all the details for my friend so that he can check it later on when we get back home. <clears throat> Walking around. And I think you can also get some impression how it feels. I really love the River Nile and I love being on boats. And honestly, I often miss it, my sailing days in the Irish Sea. And I can imagine in that sunny, pleasant weather, how much more pleasant and enjoyable would be sailing compared to Irish Sea, what I already liked so much. So who knows, someday maybe. And here we have arrived on some other site. This is a big, big boat, which they are, big Dahabia, which they are building. But behind that is this one, this which you see now. And that was also for sale at that moment. It's a bit bigger than the previous ones. And it's being readied for one trip with tourists. Usually they take tourists from Aswan to Luxor and back or other way around, because it's the most interesting piece of River Nile. There are a lot of temples and other historical sites on the way and it's really beautiful and enjoyable. Uh, in, especially in winter when it's not too hot. It's quite amazing. So yeah, you can see these shades and all the, all the details of the boat. Traditional, old, authentic, quite amazing. You can see for yourselves. Imagine how it would feel to sail on one like that. Might be some quite amazing experience. Here I'm coming back from the deck, from the main sun deck, and there is the entrance into corridor with cabins. Anchor winch and all the ropes and chains and, and bowsprit. And here is inside the kitchen for the staff and the cabins for tourists with ensued bathrooms for each cabin separately. Quite a luxurious life they are living there, these tourists, when they travel. But they pay quite dearly for that as well, I must admit. And that's a saloon. This saloon is very nice as well. Like a common area for everybody. It's much, much better. And that's another room, a double room, with again ensued bathroom. And the staircase up to the deck. This boat has two of them. This was the long one. So yeah, friends, I hope you got some glimpse of some... That's a generator for electricity. Nothing else, no propulsion, just electricity. And a few more deck views. So yeah, friends, I hope you got some idea. You see how authentic all things are there. I hope you got some idea, some impression about something which I guess not too many people will show you. 
And that's why I decided to make this video for your friends, even though this footage wasn't initially intended for that. All the best, my friends. If you would like to hear more from me, my friends, and at the same time to support me in my ways, I would like to invite you to become my patron. You can find the link to my Patreon just below the channel description in my YouTube channel's about page.